WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 11 a.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. You get the Dow up 172 points. That's a half a percent, nine tenths of a percent for the S&P or 36 points, one and three tenths for the NASDAQ 100. 152, two and a quarter percent for the Russell. That's 39 points, a little over two percent for the semis, 49 points there. Trainees are up one percent. Uh, gold is up five bucks, three tenths percent. Silver just slightly positive, up three pennies, trading out at 1922. Lights recruit up 81 cents. Natural gas up 21 pennies, trading out at 597. A 30 year treasury up one point, and uh, nearly up two points, uh, one point and 26 ticks. 120.04 is the print there. Let's go take a look at that nine panel. Market update chart as we, do, as we do. We'll begin by taking a look at the ES Mini, which is trading right into resistance, the top of its weekly profile. That number is 383850. However, there is an A to B equal CD pattern that is underway. So if price closes above the top of its weekly profile, then that what's going to, then what that will then trigger, again, resistance right now, the top of the daily profile, and price is trading above it. If price closes above that profile, again, 38, 38, 50, then you've got your A to B equals CD pattern that would take us to the 39, 13 level. That'd be the first projection area inside the ES Mini. If we take, whoops, didn't mean to do that. What I meant to do was this. Now, if we take a look at the uh, spot volatile next, it is moving lower, still above its 50-day exponential moving average, but likely that is the price target. That's at 28.51. Now, if you got to close below that 50-day exponential moving average, that would be a very bullish sign for the S&P 500. You combine that with a close above the top of its weekly profile, and there would be your signals. In the case of the NQ, not as strong as the ES Mini or the S&P 500. Can't really put in an A to B equals CD pattern here. Oh, maybe I can. Let's see. Yeah, I can. I can, actually. So let's take a look at its pattern out here. The A point being the uh, low from the trading session of uh, October 13th. The B point out here is the high from October 18th. And the C point would be the low from last Friday, uh, October 21st. So the one-to-one -one gets us up in the 11882 level, the top of its weekly profile, 11986. So very likely that is where the NQ is headed to. The U.S. dollar index right now trading below the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. That'll be important on Friday. But a close below 11109 suggests move back the 10964 to 11030 area. Geez, folks, that went by pretty quickly there, so I didn't get a chance to get to all of these. But if you stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, I'll answer all the questions that you send to me or call in. If you're off to start your Tuesday, though, have a terrific Tuesday, and we'll look forward to seeing you on wonderful Wednesday. Take care, folks.